Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, here at Telecom Exchange LA in Beverly Hills. With me is our bronze sponsor, we should mention, uh, Mr. Guy Roosevelt, Director of Threat Intelligence and Web Security at NS Focus. Guy, welcome to JSA. Thank you for having me. Uh, we are so honored that you're here and part of our day. But for our viewers who might not already know, tell us a little bit about NS Focus. Okay, NS Focus is one of the largest peer security companies in the world. We have award-winning technologies that we deploy and protect large infrastructures, telcos, enterprises, all the way down to the individual user. And I was checking out your website, very impressed by the way, and you guys just released a report uh, in only just the first half of 20. 18, where you said there was over 27 million attacks. Is that accurate? No, there's actually 27 million attackers. Attackers. Okay. And that's actually pretty good because all those attackers have done multiple attacks oh, going through. Scary. Yes, it has. There's been a large increase over 2017. And what are recidivist attackers? Okay. So when we talked about the 27 million attackers and why that's important is 25% of those attackers that we saw actually have done multiple attacks in the first six months of this year. So we're seeing a big trend where the same group of, of hosts, uh, infected systems, are attacking many places many times in a very short period of time. So they're actually generating a large portion of the attacks on the internet over and over again. Oh. And the scary part is we, we hear about those high level attacks, but why should we be paying attention to the low and medium level vulnerabilities? That's actually a good question because at the end of the day, when someone does a vulnerability analysis of their environment, they spend all their time resources on what they think are the most critical ones out there. And the problem is because they're spending all the time on the critical ones out there, they don't give enough attention to lower the medium ones. And what hackers have been able to do recently is been able to find out they can better exploit some of these low and medium vulnerability attacks better than they thought they could, releasing proof of concept code within a very short period of time. Um, previously, it would take months to be able to generate proof of concept code. Recently, they got it down to hours from when the vulnerability was announced. That makes these things a lot more dangerous than we thought they were previously. And so what can we do? What is the best way to combat against those medium to low vulnerabilities? The best thing to do is better risk analysis and risk management. People spend all their time looking at the high vulnerabilities because they think they're the most critical. But you have to look at, if I have a high level vulnerability attached to an internal server that's not accessible on the internet, is it as bad as a medium level vulnerability on my e-commerce server that is on the internet that can be quickly accessed and exploited? Yeah, speed is, is the key there. Um, so tell us a little bit about your products and services, how they might be able to help us over at NS Focus. So NS Focus has a philosophy called holistic hybrid security. We believe that all our security products need to communicate together to better handle the attacks that we're seeing today. Previously, DDoS was DDoS. It was a single level attack. Today, DDoS is a multi-pronged attack where DDoS is a diversion hiding the web attack that's coming in underneath. So I need to be able to have my web application firewall, for example, say, hmm, I'm getting hit by these web DDoS attacks. My DDoS mitigation system, can you go ahead and block this stuff so I can deal with just the web-based things alone? And we do that with our web application firewall, with our anti-DDoS, with our um, advanced threat persistence type stuff, and they all tie together through our threat intelligence system. DDoS as an aversion. Oh my goodness, you're scaring me. Okay, so definitely need to know more. Where can I go to learn more about NS Focus? Um, you can see us on all the social media sites, uh, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Twitter, um, NS Focus International. Uh, you can go to our website, nsfocusglobal.com, and get access to all our white papers, sign up. Um, we have um, uh, webinars that we do, and lots of things that talk about these kind of things. I'm, I'm on the next webinar for sure. Uh, NS Focus, Guy, thank you so much for, having, uh, for being here with us. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.